Color Rescue is a new series where you can find expert tips on solving all of your color dilemmas. Together, we're gonna to look at what works and what doesn't work so that you can create a beautiful home you'll love forever. Hi, I'm Maria Killam, the creator of Color Made Easy. This channel is your resource for all things color and design. So whether you're looking for the perfect paint color, maybe you need a color rescue, or you just wanna know how you can make your house the most timeless possible, I've got you covered. Recently, I posted a reel on Instagram where I was talking about what works and what doesn't when it comes to timber accents on your modern farmhouse. And a reader sent me this image and said, is this wrong? Should I repeat it to create better balance? Number one, we need to reduce the contrast of the front door and the pillars by staining them to be a cooler brown tone. Number two, we need to then repeat that brown, bring it over to the garage door so that it looks a lot more balanced. And number three, the stone is too light on this house. However, if we add some foundation plantings for the landscaping, then that will completely hide that fact. So the first thing to notice about these rustic timber accents is truly they look best with a white farmhouse. You take orange, add it to a black building and you have Halloween if you don't have any white in the mix. Basically, you can't do orange and black together without the addition of any white and gray. I mean, at the end of the day, most commercial buildings right now are some version of white, gray, black, and cognac. But the great thing about cognac is it warms up all the gray that we've just been installing for the last 15 years with the gray trend, but it doesn't work with a strictly black house. This is the easiest color rescue in my opinion, but hey, I wanna hear yours. So please post your comments below and if you have a color rescue for me, send it over to mariakillam at gmail.com and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.